This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Bennett. And this is, of course, the ramble. The ramble goes on from now until uh, uh, midnight, uh, Eastern Daylight Time. And a little bit later, we'll be talking with our citizens panel. Uh, but in the meantime, it is Friday. And being Friday, uh, there she is. I'm here. There she is. It's yeah. Friday. Yeah. Although, for the next, actually, till the end of the fiscal, yeah. till the end of the calendar year, I'm going to be taking all Fridays off. So my Friday actually was last night. Your, your Friday, Friday was last night. Yeah, it's I Friday. Da, yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Mm. Mm. Maybe I should move that camera up. Wait a minute. Should oh, I move that? No, 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 don't do it. Don't do anything. See, I can, I can tilt it from here. Oh. Watch. Oh, yeah. No, just, just, just look and don't, don't pay attention to what's happening behind the curtain here. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Uh, tilt. Okay. Uh, tilt you upwards there just a little bit. A little more. A little more. A little more. A little more. There we go. How's that? Look. look don't. I'm we tilting. look straight. No, not you. You don't tilt. I'm tilting. <laughs> I'm tilting the camera. Okay. I'm tilting. All right. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. You're all right. You're okay. You're all, all right. right. All right. Now. Hi. Hi. How are you? Okay. See, we're both wearing our Vermont t-shirts. Oh, really? Yeah, but it's funny because my design is on the back. Well, you have to turn all the way around for people to see the back. You there see you go. That's, uh, yeah, it's a little red truck. Yeah, is that cute? Yeah. It so happens that our friends who, who were taking care of us over the weekend also own a big red truck an just antique, like that. An antique truck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so and it's a beauty. It, is, it really is it, a pretty. It, oh, it's a beautiful car. What year is it? I think a forty-seven or something is like it? that. Wow. Yeah. You know, when you think about a forty-seven, I go, "Oh, it's only a forty-seven," and then I go, "Wait a minute." <laughs> you know, that's a lot. Is that's that's how many years? Seventy something. Well, no, no, that's about sixty years. Seventy. Forty-seven would be seventy something. Yeah, I guess so. Seventy-one. Yeah. I was born in 39. What, what year were you born? I'll tell you later. Yeah. <laughs> because somebody, oh, I know, it was my ex-wife, uh, uh, Ronnie. She asked me today, she said, how old are you? And I couldn't, me. I, yeah, I couldn't remember. You never exactly. remember. You don't even know when my birthday is. Huh? I do. Did you make a reservation? No. no. Well, you've got five days. No, no you're in charge no, of reservations. No, not for my birthday. That's your No, no, job. no, no, no. Oh, yes, Well, there's yes. no place I can make a reservation now. Well, just put the plug in. No, and... you make the reservation. I don't want that responsibility. No. You, may, you get the reservation. Otherwise, you know what? We're having salmon for dinner. Do you hear silently hear crickets on that one? yeah crickets no you you make the you may i'm sorry if you expect me to pay for it you make the reservation <laughs> you no, because you're that's what you always do you always i'm surprised you haven't made a reservation already and i bet you have i'll bet you have haven't you haven't you i bet you have haven't you haven't you haven't you well, Kraft is welcoming us. They are? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Why is it? I'm, uh, it seems like I've been paying for a lot of meals lately. Oh, yeah. Like, we really go out. No, but I mean, uh, you know, we were on vacation. I paid for meals. So did I. Uh, it, uh, it, it, wait a minute. So there. We, we, but the last time, what was the last thing we had? Uh, was it our, uh, what was the last big one we had when we went to... Uh, Vermont? Um, a Bobos or Bopos or bim Bimbos or whatever the name of that. It was for our anniversary in July. In July. See, I mean. She, yeah, that's the last time we went out to oh, eat. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's, let's, let's talk about your July anniversary. Okay, I'm smaller than you tonight. Oh, well, that's okay. Move back a little bit. Then you, no, no, that's it okay. It's okay. To our Italian restaurant last week. What? I took you to our Italian restaurant last week. 
Uh, oh, th that Italian restaurant, did you take us there? Yeah. Oh, okay. But you see, you're working and you're making money and I'm not um, making any money at all. When it comes from me, it's the last penny I have. Yeah, right. What do you mean, yeah, right? Yeah, right. Boy, they better, we better, we better start seeing some money off of this suit, I'm telling you. I agree. We're, we're counting on it. It's our old age. Well, we spent $40,000 on legal fees yeah. to date. Yeah. And there's a big one coming up in November. Actually, I don't think it's going to be as big. Here's the deal. We got one bill one month for almost $13,000. We, we jewed them down. To 11. <laughs> we talked them down. To like 11, because we didn't feel that calling up to say hi was necessary, you know, billable. billable. Uh, but I didn't realize the guy had written this, what amounted to a small pamphlet. Like a dissertation. A dissertation. I mean, like 20 pages long. And I didn't realize he had done that because he never sent it to me. So I just thought, well, we're paying all this money for, you know. For him to send the notice to the court. Yeah, right. And, uh, but... That one took him a lot of work because it, it took a lot of, uh, of research and uh, all that stuff, okay? It was a legal brief. This thing is just simply us going to court and him pleading our case. Yeah. And that's only going to take a couple of hours. Well, you're going, aren't you? I may you, or may no, not you go. You go with me, please. I'm not going What day go. is it? Do we have a date? Yeah, yeah. What date? It's like the 29th of November. He they just changed it on. Oh, what day of the week is it? I have no idea. 29th of but November. But you, I'm not going to go there all alone. Are you kidding me? You know. But anyway. What time? Do we know what time? Uh, no. no. But we will we'll, get, we'll, all we'll, we'll get all that information. We'll get all that information for him. But anyway, uh, it's, so it, what, what it is, what they're doing is these papers had to be filed because... I don't know, the guy is complaining and blah, 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 and he wants the judge to vote in his Roll favor. in his favor. You know, and so then there are motions that the, the judge shouldn't do that. And um, it's, it's nothing that really puts our case in jeopardy, but uh, it puts somebody else's case in jeopardy, all right? So anyway, the point is... The landlord. The, the, yeah, so the point is this thing is happening, and... Um, uh, we we it, but it it's it, his legal fee is really only going to be the time he's in court, and that may be one of the cheapest bills we've got. Well, he may have to do some prep before. I mean, we don't know. Yeah, he'll probably do some prep, but it's yeah. not going to it's not going to be another thirteen thousand. No, but month. he may have to bring, talk to people or have uh -huh. any no. No, because he's going. What he's doing is he's going to court to pr just protect us. He doesn't really have to plead a case. He's just listening to what they have to say. Yeah, he's well, he, or and object if well, they that, if they well, say they well, yeah. they want a a determination by the judge now. They he want they want injunctive relief or something. I can't remember what it's called. And don't do that. It makes noise. No. Um, and it's some kind of injunctive relief. I have no idea what it is. Okay. Uh, so he has to go in and then he had to write this whole thing that cost us the $11,000. And change. Uh, in order to answer all of this. And then he has to be there because he's probably going to wind up saying something about, about the case and why it shouldn't necessarily be ruled in, in, in the, his favor. In his favor, exactly. He's going there to protect us. And he's going there to protect us, exactly. And uh, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be uh, inter interesting. It'll be an interesting little um, um, time. Time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It will be. It definitely will be. So, um, you know, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But anyway, um, so we're, uh, I'm, I'm just adjusting your camera. Because you, you look bigger than I do. Now you don't anymore. And that can't be. That can't be, no. I would like to actually tilt this camera. I can make myself smaller. You can make yourself smaller, but let me just... Am I smaller uh, now? Move this down, but no, move forward. Come forward, come forward, come forward, just because then they can't hear you all the way back there. Okay, now we look about Can you equal. see me? Huh? Can you see me now? I can see you, so look at me, look at me, anyway. Why? Well, because I'm ugly and I need somebody to look at me. Anyway. So where were we? Oh, so anyway, that's going to be the court big case. Thing. That's going to be, be November. Hmm? That's going to be our big November thing. Yeah, yeah. 
And uh, it's not going to be settled then, I don't think. No, but it'll... I mean, it could get settled on one part. I mean, they could say, okay, you have a case. Uh, the, 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 well, the judge could also say, just, hey, right now, or in three weeks, I want this thing finished. Well, I would like it finished, but, yeah. uh, you know, I mean, we, we... But the judge could say that. Yeah, but I don't think the judge could say... He uh, thinks the, he was leaning towards that, to settle it and get it over Well, with. no, no, they... Every judge wants you to settle the case out of court. Of course. They would rather not have to go through all the procedures it takes to... And the expense on the people involved, us. Huh? And the expense. And the expense, yeah, of course. And I mean, uh, you know, but uh, I, I, think that, uh, I think that it will come out in our favor. I don't think there's going to be a... Oh, I mean, the judge could say, hey, I've looked at this and, you know... Uh, you and Marjorie have a good case, you know. We shall see. Then we're not going to rule in 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 your favor on them, but we might rule in favor on where your case against the landlord is. See, we want this guy to win against the landlord because then he will get a chunk of money. No, he won't. From the landlord. Our lawyer no, will negotiate landlord. that the money will go from the landlord directly well, to no, us. Well, no, no, no. That's, as part that's of not the, what I'm saying. It's part of the I'm settlement. Saying, will you listen to me? I know what you're saying. No, but you're, 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 you're I not I know saying. exactly what you're saying. What am I saying? You're saying that they have to settle, and then he'll have money to give us. Yeah, if he and does. And what the it, lawyer it, will try to do is bypass that and have the money that he's going to give us go directly to us from the landlord. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, or part of it, or whatever um, is ours. All you of know. it. But uh, you plus know, the legal look, fees. Listen, listen. Plus Keep, the legal fees. Let's say it's all in our favor, all right? And, and I'm assuming there's a very good chance, knock on wood, that that's the case, all right? That being the case, the problem is in the end trying to get the bunny. Well, that's you know? why. If they, and the, wait, wait a minute. And that's why I want him to prevail against the landlord. Because if he doesn't prevail against the landlord, I'm, we're going to have a hard no, time I getting the money. No, I understand that. But in the settlement, they will have the money directly to us. Plus, he owes us legal fees. And he, he must pay. Well, he owes yeah. us legal fees. I mean, that's up to the judge as to whether he owes us legal Well, he fees, said usually because you know? we're, the, we're the victims in this. We're the poor old couple. You know, we, we play we that. we got to use that we card play now. that card. I'm yeah. walking in with the cane. <laughs> you know, I'm walking in with the cane. Uh, you know, I mean, he he well, he came into the uh, what the deposition? Yeah, with on like a, a knee brace. A, no, not a knee he brace. He had a, like a scooter that his yeah, leg but, was on. But his leg was in a certain position that he couldn't move. It was bent. Yeah, and so then he just wheels along on this <laughs> little. It looks like a uh, uh, an invalid skateboard. <laughs> Very common. Very common. Yeah, with knee 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 uh, replacements. Yeah, well, I may need a knee replacement because I, I can't complain. Look, I can't complain about anything else. I don't have prostate cancer and I don't have high cholesterol any longer. I'm sure so. you'll find another ailment. There'll be I'm a sure. new ailment of the month. Yeah, I mean, what, what could what could go wrong? What what else is there that's left? Uh, well, there's stomach cancer. You know, brain, Br brain can. Oh, that. Oh, oh, me and John McCain. That's right. Yeah, yeah, but uh, you know, my, you know, Ro Ronnie. I was talking to Ronnie a couple of days ago, and I talked to her today again because it's funny. You know, ex husbands have a obligation. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that she she has cancer, and uh, so we're going through it with her. And um, I was talking to her, and she said, you know, she said they've gotten all the stuff in the pancreas, okay? So she doesn't have pancreatic cancer. That, that's gone. They found some in um, about three lymph nodes out of about 12 or 15 they harvested, all right? Where? Huh? Where? In her, in her, I said in her, uh, next to her pancreas, the uh, uh, lymph nodes. Uh, she said that you, the reason that they do the, the uh, uh, chemotherapy is because y once you have cancer, you can have cancer elsewhere, not that it's spread, but that your body just starts saying, hey, let's do a cancer here and let's do a cancer there. It's not even a matter of it traveling through the lymphatic system. Hmm. So she said that's, that's one of the reasons they do it. And uh, but she's been tolerating it pretty pretty well. Okay. A lot of people, a lot of people I know, ask me like, 
Irv, uh, excuse me, Jack Bishop. <laughs> Uh, oops. Ask me. <laughs> oops. <laughs> oops. I made a radio faux pas. You know. uh, it, 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 no, but he he did a, uh, um, a pretty good uh, pretty good. Um, she he he asked me about her the other day how how she was doing. Everybody I know who knows her asked me how she's doing, and I gotta say you know, she's got she's taking it pretty well. Good. You know and. Uh, uh, Today, I got her mad, though. Today, I said to her, uh, well, you know, I you don't know if you're going to you walk across the street, get hit by a truck. She says, I'm tired of hearing that one. And you know what it is? When things like this happen, you keep hearing the same thing over and over. You mm -hmm. look like you're falling asleep. Oh, well, I'm tired, and you're dragging I'm, this and out. I'm, and I'm boring. And you're dragging no. the story out. <laughs> you still have another... Uh, 40 minutes before we go to the phones. Anyway. 40 minutes. I'm just, make, I'm just making you feel like it's going 20, slower than 20, you really believe. 21 minutes and 21 counting. Minutes. So finish your story. I don't know. I okay. Didn't, couldn't so, finish the so story. So what else is new? No, so anyway, so I, I mm. uh, you know, so I have an ex-wife with cancer, and I have to learn how to ha handle that and not to be obnoxious about it, you see. And I said, please forgive anybody who says to you, Oh, well, you could be run over by a truck tomorrow. Because all they're trying to do is say something positive, you know? And, and I know you're bored with hearing the same <laughs> positive things over and over again. Well, you know, you, 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 the, the other one, of course, is, uh, was, you know, you've lived past your expiration date, so, you know, you're on borrowed time anyway, so be thankful for anything you get. But I, I have a theory, I just want to live forever. But then again, I remember my mother at a hundred, and that was I, that was not fun for her. It wasn't like she was having a good time. You know. Yeah, my mom, who died at eighty six, her last three years, she was in La La Land. Well, I she mean, she had dementia. I wonder if La La Land isn't a bad isn't a. a, a I mean, on her side, it was probably nice. Uh, you know, I mean, she you, wasn't confused or anything. She was just in her own world. I mean, and when you finally die, you don't know you did. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying. You know what they said in the Science Times last week? Science Times. You the, read, you read Science the, Times. The, the science section. Oh, in the Times. In the Times. Me, in I meant this, That's what I meant yeah, to say. Yeah. That when you die, your brain is still active, so it's probably for sure that you know you're dying as you die. What do you mean? But you say after you're dead, your brain's still right. Going. So your brain kind of knows that you're dead. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's certainly something to look forward to. <laughs> Your brain, brain is going through it. And people that have died and have come back relate similar experiences like that. Like the brain was still going. They watched it. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I don't know what the... What the uh, uh, boy, that's depressing. We have nothing to... Do you realize we have nothing to look forward to? <laughs> we have nothing to look forward that's to. That's why January 2023 does not sound like a bad idea. Did, you know something? Uh, I'm going to have to have Bubbles give you a call. Because <laughs> Bubbles on the show said that uh, you can go to this site and it will tell you the exact precise day you're going to It die. actually gives you the day of the month. I just remember January. I didn't remember the actual day. And so she went to it and it said she's going to die in January. January 2023. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying to myself, you know, the way this world and this country is going, yeah. it's not a bad idea. Now, you, you know, that, if that isn't depressing enough, tell them, tell them the TV series you're binge watching. <laughs> There's this thing she's binge watching. Where is it on Netflix or Showtime? It's on Showtime. It, you can binge watch this. Uh, it's it's really uplifting. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. It's Tell called, them what it's it, called the time of death, and it takes case studies. It's it's it documentaries of people who are dying. dying. Yeah, well, that's wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> It's it, 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 interesting. Is it uplifting? <laughs> is it uplifting? Does it make you feel good? Is yeah, it, it actually it feel does. Good, is it the feel good show? Thank of the God, season? that's not me. She is binge watching. I'm telling you the truth, folks. She is binge watching a program about people dying. 
Yeah, it's called Last Last Breath or Last. Hmm. Yeah, I almost sold a Last book. Hour or something I, like I, that. I almost sold a book once. On a Monday, we had it sold. In fact, I was in, um, yeah, I was in uh, at the Olympics, and I got a call from Gary, my business manager, who said, uh, St. Martin's Press wants your book. And I went, wow, okay. Mm -hmm. And I got home. By the time I got home, they didn't want the book anymore. Uh. And what it was is my friend, my old friend, who is no longer a friend, Chuck Farnham and I, he started collecting death certificates of famous of famous people, people. Yeah. and you can get them online and so we started collecting we collected a whole bunch we collected about 40 or so of and they're really you know it's kind of interesting to read people's death no uh, uh, death, what, certificate. death certificates because it says time of death you know uh, 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 what they had or what they think the death was and so on like we had Kirk Gobain's, okay, things like that. And uh, uh, what was it? What was the name of the book? We had a title for it. Um, uh, oh, I can't remember. De Final Notice. That was it. <laughs> Final Notice. And and uh, they liked the idea, but then all of a sudden they changed their mind. You know, I've had this happen before, where on a, a at two o'clock somebody wants something, and by five o'clock they it's don't gone. want it anymore. Yeah. We were supposed to be in uh, what was that picture? Uh, 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 what do you call it? The, with the uh, with the insects that Pixar did. Uh, uh, Bugs Life. Bugs Life. We were supposed to be in a Bugs Life. Lori Thompson and I, my newswoman. They were going to create two characters based on us uh. and put it in the, in the movie. And they called me at 10 o'clock in the morning and they said, uh, would you and, and Lori be interested in being in our newest animated feature here at Pixar? And I said, are you kidding? Of course. They said, well, we're having a meeting and are you available later this afternoon, both of you, to come on over here and talk about it? And I said, absolutely. And by 2 o'clock they decided they didn't want to do it. <laughs> you know, that's... That's what That's happens. That's life in the fast that, lane. That show business. You yeah. keep looking well, at I the just, clock. It, it is you know, this is the way our that. entire marriage has gone. <laughs> Boy, we get a lot of people who watch this. We should argue more. We weren't arguing tonight. It's 1027. That's all I'm saying. Huh? I'm just throwing it out there. Yeah. Maybe I should just do the show with you every day. And that's it, you know. I don't see any bubbles. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, oh there a lot are. of bubbles, a lot of bubbles. Oh, wow, yeah. there they yeah, are. Yeah, I, I didn't, uh, I don't have it up over here because for some reason this doesn't work too well on, uh, on, uh, it will here now. It doesn't work too well on uh, Chrome, but uh, uh, here on uh, Safari it works Fine. perfectly. Good. If you people want to see okay. the show... You can go to Facebook Live, but the best place to get it, okay, the best place to get it uh, is using Safari, I find, because I find the Chrome, it, it kind of peters out sometimes on Chrome, and, and but but uh, Safari is rock solid. I just don't like Safari as a, as a where, why, where are you I'm going? Where are you going to look at I don't hear it's half of you in one frame and half of you in the other I'm frame. I'm rolling on over. That's, uh, yeah, okay. okay. Come on, come on over. Right. What do you, you oh, now you she's going to, yeah, let me do. turn the mic so you can hear her. <laughs> my haircut. Yeah. Oh, listen, she I got, got didn't she get a cute haircut? I think it's a pretty hot haircut. Well, it's short. <laughs> if she weren't an old lady, I'd have sex with her. Um, it's sure. No, the really that 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 that's a look I really like. It oh, looks no. great. Yeah, uh, yeah. Doesn't she? If if she's if she you think she's cute with this haircut, okay? Uh, start sending us like smiley faces or whatever, okay? What? Well, let's see what happens here. Let's see. It, it takes about thirty seconds before. No the, one likes the hair. See if you like it. If you like it. There we go. There we go. Ah. See, see, see. Well, there are a couple of okay. old lot of people Ooh. liking your hair. Oh, look at that! <laughs> look, it's so cr sure. they're going crazy. Oh, hearts, hearts, and pictures of oh, people, boy. and oh, smiley faces, and uh, all of that is okay. going like crazy. See, they like that haircut. It looks a little fluffy in the back well, here, but that's got, because got you the got earphones. the you got the earphones on. Yeah. Should I take yeah. take the earphones? Oh, you know what I should do here. When I leave, I'll take the earphones. What I should off. do is I I, I should uh, get the uh, panel up here uh, so that I have it ready, ready to go, and then the I should and I haven't turned on the phones. 
or phones. He, he, listen to me. How old is that? That yeah. is old. Phones. Yeah, I'm turning on the phone. I yeah. still call it a typewriter. At the, in you the still office. call it a typewriter at the office? Yes, I'm, I'm going to my typewriter now. <laughs> I have to type. I'll yeah. say I have to type. Yeah. Do you say you have to type or do you say you have to? What do you say? Well, you, you still have to type on a computer. Yeah. You, use the, yeah, you that still word have type. to type. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, um, yeah. But it's not a typewriter. It's not a typewriter. So, anyway. Uh, and I learned on a typewriter where it was real heavy. Yeah. And I still hit the keys real heavy. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Somebody sent me a message. What is that? Rick Sheckman voicemail. But that's from Saturday. I keep getting voicemail from him from Saturday. From a week ago. I have no idea why I keep getting voicemail from well anyway the skype lines check are in, open check and in. people can uh, can call in if they want to otherwise we'll start making out and you don't want to see two old people no you don't you know no you don't uh well you know i mean i have a hot old lady here mm -hmm. oh, you honey oh. sweet pie yeah come on this will make people call <laughs> 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 yeah well, 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 look! Hey, look what they're doing though. They're sending, they're sending uh, little, um, little faces, little faces across the picture. Isn't that cute? Call in. Isn't that adorable? Or it's we, almost my bedtime. Yeah, we, it's almost her bedtime. In fact, it is her bedtime. She was, you were, you were looking a little drowsy over there. I'm tired. Do you take your pills before you come in here? No. No, you take them when I you go to. back there. Okay. Good, because uh, uh, I'm drinking real coffee tonight. I decided to do coffee. Good. Because I don't have to do anything tomorrow. Well, we do have a few things to do. But, I have to yeah. get up. You have early. to get up. We have to go down to your office. And we have to do a few things like that. So, Anyway, come on, folks. We're waiting for somebody to give us a call. If you don't know how to call us, best way to do it is you go over to uh, 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 gabnet.net. And over there on the right-hand side of the page, it'll tell you exactly how you can become part of the citizen panel about how to get Skype, where to get Skype, how to call us using Skype, uh, all of that. Uh, where's Ann when you need her? Where's Ann? I don't yeah. know. Uh, Ann never calls anyway. <laughs> and then there's always Jeff the executive who goes online, and apparently he asked to be a friend once. He's online. Uh, uh, but but uh, Jeff, Jeff, Jeff has call. never, ever called the show. But he has got Skype on. I know. But that's it, only because he's on my list somewhere. At one point, he and when he, we mention his name, he closes his little thing. Well, just, no, that no, that closes on oh, its own. Oh. Yeah, so we're waiting. It's, we're definitely it's been waiting. really slow this week, man. Last night I had the worst numbers when it came to the TV thing that I've ever had. No, well, that happens. And uh, I think it's it's just it's like baseball week or something this week. And then there's a football games too and basketball games. Oh, Penn games State is and, playing Ohio on Saturday. But, For all my Penn State friends, Saturday, yeah. Penn State versus Ohio. Uh, or as you know it, a rape state. <laughs> uh, she, no. Boy, I have to live with her when that whole Penn State thing happened. It was terrible. Hey, listen, nobody's going to call. I can just go to sleep early. You know, I don't have to. Can I sign off? Huh? Yeah, you can leave if you want to. Oh, wait uh, a minute. Uh, ah, there he is. Rob, Rob comes to the rescue. But won't his yeah. voice be weird? Well, no, his voice won't be weird. His voice isn't weird. His voice is a very good no, voice. No, no, but you said the first one that calls in. Oh, gets, no, like, no, 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 it's pretty good now. Wait a minute, hold on a second. Phil, Phil Meyer is calling, too. And let me let me then try and uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Hey there, Rob. Hey, there, hey Rob. there, Phil. Phil and Rob. And I noticed yeah. that Patrick's uh, working to come online here. How you doing, guys? Good. How are you? Hi. Yeah. Just fine. Yeah. Uh, uh, somebody's audio on. No. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. Y yes, Rob. It looks like you wanted to say something. I like his microphone. It looks so official. Well, yes, it does look official. That's that's what you can get me for my birthday. You want a microphone? Shock no. mouse? Yes, Rob. Well, look, look. <laughs> look, look wait a uh, turn it down, hey, Kevin. Yeah. Uh, uh, Phil's got a nice mic, too. I don't see it. Yeah. But I, Rob's is like you hanging see? like hanging from the top. Yeah, well, I could I could do that here, but I, you know, I have to hang it from... I guess but back there. Oh wow! Ooh. Wow! There we go. Hey, big you know, boy. 
Uh, mine looks like a penis. <laughs> you know? Well, it looks like my penis, but not yours. <laughs> I <do> wish. Uh, <laughs> Penis the, the width of a, a yeah. beer. Turn, turn up your mic a little bit, Rob. I think you're on the low side for some. You always tell me I'm hot. Yeah. How's that? Uh, yeah, that's better. Hello, Patrick. Yes, you have something you wish to emote? Yeah. Um, I caught uh, the beginning of last night's show regarding uh, George H.W. Bush. Mm hmm. You had asked, you know, with, if I was on, I could speak to being in a wheelchair mm -hmm. and arm around. Yes, because he did say. You know, he it, did it. It, 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 no, well, he did. They did say that the reason it happened was because he was uh, uh, because he has his hands in a certain position. You can't raise them higher or yeah. lower. There's just some kind of problem with how so it's, it's like how it's the same raised. length with the buns. Y was. Yeah. Well, <laughs> there, there's an there's an easy way to to know this. Marjorie, stand up next to Alex and have Alex put his arm around you. Okay. And where's it actually going to fall? Well, okay. Well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me let me get a, my picture here so that we can uh, we can uh, do do this demonstration. Now, what do you want me to do? All you got to do is put your arm around it. And where's your arm naturally going to fall? I'm right there fall on her butt. Yeah. 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 And that it it's just the way it is because when you're in a sitting position, yeah, it's like I've told many times on here. Yeah. The reason I hate going into crowds. Yeah. It does a lot of ass in my face, and not a lot of good ass. Believe me, I enjoy <laughs> ass, but there's a lot of rank ass out there too. <laughs> and that's all right here, right in your face. So it, it's a, so, it's just a, a, a normal thing. If I go to hug somebody, um, I've got a, a number of female friends who, if they see me, they'll hug me. Yeah. Now they'll hug me. And their crotch is right in your face. What that? Is their crotch right in your face? No, no? Their, their boobs are. Oh, they're bending and, down. And that's the thing is they know that. And it's just normal. I mean, if, if any yeah. woman so, were to bend down and hug me, yeah. I'm going to have their breasts in my face. Yeah. But you don't motorboat while they're doing you know? <laughs> yeah. So what, what you're saying basically is that... Uh, uh, that if you're like I'm, uh, I'm sitting here, and it could be the equivalent of the size of a wheelchair. And if she's standing up, and I want to put my hand around her to kind of be nice, just to be nice, I will probably touch her ass right. and, and not want to touch her ass necessarily. And if if Marjorie were to give you a hug, as she normally would, facing you, mm -hmm. her breasts are going to be in your face just because of the height. And next she, thing, and next thing you know, you got a sexual harassment charge against you. But that's why, like, even when I, where I used to work, I was very close with most of the staff, and everybody knew me, and, and I knew them, and um, you know, hugging was not a weird thing to do. Mm -hmm. If somebody did a good job on something on a project, you'd hug, and. There's a respectfulness and there's a respectful distance that if a woman were to come in and hug me, I do tend to turn my face away just naturally so that if her breast would rub against me or something, nobody can say shit about it. Yeah. You know, so, it's, it's just me being aware. So how do you uh, explain away the dirty joke? He's an old man and... He what ninety? How old is he? Oh, well, he was eighty nine at that time. At that I was a youngster. What are you kidding? Yeah, I mean, uh, it is what it is, and and it's not the dirtiest fucking joke out there. I'd say for the women that were offended by that. Wait, well, did, wait, wait, wait. What he, was the joke? What was the joke? I didn't hear about the joke. I didn't either. He said something. The joke was um, the. David Copperfield, and his favorite uh, magician is David Copperfield. 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 Uh, yeah, you know what? Fucking grow up. <laughs> Not a dirty joke. Copperfield. Well, listen, you know, for a bush, that's a dirty joke. <laughs> you know. Right, exactly. I mean, that, that's 
stuff like a Mormon. Like we we're, were watching a, a documentary on uh, that they're doing on PBS, two part series on Putin, and they did the whole history of Putin which is important because you got to find out why he didn't like Hillary Clinton. And why he hates but, the U.S. But, but he, um, um, they were talking about the fact that, uh, that Bush, remember Bush after he met Putin at the White House, came out and gave this speech about, hey, he's a really great guy and I really like him and he's a terrific is guy. Is this senior or junior? Yeah, this is junior. Uh, the reason was is that Putin, because he knows how to play people, told this story to Bush about uh, how his DACA, dacha burned down, his country home burned down, and the only thing left was a medallion owned by his mother, and that he felt that was a sign from God, you know, that blah, 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 because he knew that Bush is a real Christian, okay? And so Bush immediately took, uh, took, took to a him. liking to him because he was so godly. In his in his actions, so that was the. Uh, uh, so I'm saying the Bush the Bushes were always very religious people, and uh, I I don't think he tried to cop a feel. But I mean everybody now. I mean I, well, I read another one tonight. Somebody over at uh, I don't know ABC just got fired, or maybe it was CBS. I can't remember. Uh, and it's just like it's becoming the the cause du jour right now. You know, next month it'll be something else, but right now it's the cause du jour. So and now Heilman, from, Heilman is up uh, to eight women now. He's up to eight? He's up to eight <laughs> women now. And all they did you was know. cop a feel. You know, but, but before this is all over, Cosby's going to look like a good guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, the, the, the thing is... The, if any of this stuff is true, then it should be handled. However, it appears to me that these firings are based on allegations and not on actual findings. And, you know, it, 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 you do have to take allegations seriously. However, to fire somebody based on an allegation is, to me, ludicrous. You well, know, to, I mean, to, to me, the first step towards redemption is saying, hey, I did it. I was wrong. OK. And the thing is that you can't do that now because they'll still fire you. You know, they'll still say, oh, that was horrible. What a horrible person you are. See, he admitted to it. Well, no, he admitted to it and said it was inappropriate and he apologizes for it. You know, uh, doesn't that count for something? Not in the zero tolerance corporate world. <laughs> well, no, you know what it is. These corporations don't give a shit whether he gropes somebody or not. They yeah, give a shit about what out. the public perce how the public perceives of them, and how it's going to affect them. Yeah. You know, and so oh, we got rid of Halpern. Well, you know, to begin with, Halpern did this in two thousand eight when he was at CNN. He's now at MSNBC, and they just put him on waivers. Why? Because of what he did at CNN. He didn't do it on their property. Right. You know. How do you, hmm? uh, maybe he did, and uh, they just haven't admitted to it yet. Well, if he did, then they should. But they said uh, it's all based on, on the previous, uh, these women who were popping up. And, of course, you know, for if you get four women who pop up, there are going to be another four going to pop up. And they're not necessarily all going to be credited. Yeah, you know, out of all those eight, at least one. Well, no, you know, is, is, it, it, is real, yes, and but, and that's but not acceptable. He did apologize, you know, and that should count towards something, you know. Uh, and, the and and what I'm saying is, from here on in, it should be like, uh, well, who, who, who said it? I think it was, I think it was Lenny Bruce years ago. He says. If you cheat on your wife and she finds out, deny it. Don't I ever it was say Clinton. it was it. No, it wasn't Clinton. What Clinton did. No, but, but deny it. Deny it because if you say yes, dear, I did it and I feel terrible about it. You know, she's never going to let you forget it. Just always Ooh, deny, never. deny, deny. You know, and I think in this case, it's not a good idea to say yes, it's true, and I'm sorry for it. Because in spite of the fact you may truly be sorry for it, you're still going to be punished. You know? So. And with that, I'm saying goodnight, everyone. And can I, can I grab your pussy? Well, you can yeah. grab my pussy. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Here's my haircut.
isn't that a great what do good you think? huh uh, you know, there's an actress. Her name is Andrea Martin. Yeah. And uh, uh, your uh, Marjorie looks very, very close to to her. No. Uh, she plays please. the. Uh, are you familiar please, with that actress? Please, am I? She was with Second City years ago. I've been familiar with her for years before you ever knew she well, existed. She's in um, uh, Difficult People. She plays the mother yeah. of uh, uh, the the main actress. Uh, anyway. Uh, if you look at her recent pictures, uh, there's a striking similarity. Yeah, I've, I've I've watched a couple episodes of that show, and it, it, it's it's okay. It gets a little old, but you know it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's it, it's kind of part like the, there's another show called You're the Worst that's kind of that came before that happened, huh. and it's kind of the same premise. You know, people who are just shitheads. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and 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 so you're supposed to love them, I guess. You know, yeah. is is the uh, is the whole thing. Uh, but uh, all I'm saying is, is that you know we were talking about this last night, and I just I I I feel a little sorry for Halpern. I don't know why I I shouldn't. Should. Uh, gee, everybody's blanking out here for a second. Okay, everybody's fine now. Uh, uh, you know, and I should. Um, uh, he did something very obnoxious and wrong and terrible and uh, behavior which I wouldn't countenance. But on the other hand, I mean, he, he did say he was sorry and he realizes what he did was inappropriate. And I, I think that that has to count for something. If we don't allow people to, to apologize, uh, uh, that's not good, and and from here on in, I don't think anybody's going to going to apologize because they see what happens when you do. You know, yeah. what you're apologizing for what? I said it depends on what you're apologizing for, because certain things, certain things you do, apology is not the proper like that's not the end all, right? Right. If you sexually assault assaulted or, uh, you know harassed somebody an apology is maybe civil but that's not the uh that's not the end of it well i mean it's an admission that it, it's an be, admission that you know you did something wrong and that you're trying to better your behavior right you know. but that doesn't mean that should be the end of the, by the, the action by the way there's some kind of hissing noise out there yeah I hear that uh, uh no now it's okay huh I, who Go knows ahead. it's it Oh, it's the Skype gods, I guess, that are causing the problem. Uh, uh, it may be my fan. I, me no, I muted not... and you said it was okay. Wait a minute. Mute again. All right. No, it's still, it's still there, it's whatever Kevin, it is. Because I see his blue line never goes. It's through. Kevin. Kevin, turn your mic off a second. Let's see. Ah, it's it's Kevin. For some reason, you have a little interference. Is it? Okay. I probably got the fan pointed at the mic. Well, oh, oh, really? Everybody's got their fan on. Well, I have a fan on up here, too. It's so. hot out here, and I'm tired of it. Is it really hot out there in California? Yeah. It's, it was, Go away. Was it 90 oh. today? Oh, now it's better. Yeah, there it's gone. Wow. Yeah. So it's yeah, I, just had, I just had it blowing in from the now, window I, I notice you have some guitars in back of you there, Kevin. Do you play the guitar? I play around with it, yeah. What do you mean you play around with it? Do you actually play it? <laughs> I'm trying to get back into it. I did when I was a kid. Oh, really? And I, how are you at it? <laughs> are you, Long not, way to go. Not enough that you'd like to pick it up and strum a little for us? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Unless All you right. want to hear me tune it, that's about it. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's good, too. You know, it never hurts. Uh, anyway, uh so I, you know, I just, I, I just think that we're getting to the point. I'm getting, I'm getting as tired of these stories about well, we found another guy that's pinched a woman in the ass, as I am with Donald Trump stories. You know? Well, I, I have a, a theory for the new jo Donald Trump story. What, what's, uh, what's, you know how, what's the way? Uh, what's, what's the new Donald Trump story? Well, you know, the whole thing about this uh, Russian interference, mm -hmm. and they've come up with a dossier which said that Trump did this and Trump did that. And now uh, the uh, Republicans and the investigators are saying that 
Uh, it was the DNC, Hillary Clinton, and they came up with this, and it was their collusion with Russia. I don't think anybody colluded with Russia. I think Russia is putting this stuff out as fake news, which is getting uh, to uh, help the parties become more divisive. Mm -hmm. uh, and instead of looking at it and saying, well, I think maybe Russia is planting this false information against Trump. And now mm -hmm. they've turned around and said that the Democrats are the ones that colluded. And they're using it as a smokescreen, mm -hmm. saying that Trump did it because yeah. of their... A collusion. So now Trump and the GOP are blaming uh, the Democrats and Hillary. One of the I oldest think, ploys in the in the business. Right. The I think maybe neither of them had anything to do with it, and it was all Russia. Yeah. Well, the first uh, the first charges have been filed in the Mueller investigation. Yes, and they, do they know who it is now? Still under wraps. I bet it's Manafort. It's Manafort. Yeah, probably Manafort. Yeah. I would, and, I would say, you know. And uh, probably what they're doing is they're trying to turn Manafort to uh, testify against others. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Let's get to the bottom of this. Exactly. Yeah. You know. Uh, I, I, it's funny. It's terrible. I, we're watching this documentary on Putin, and it's called Putin's Revenge. And it's really about the whole first hour of it. It is uh, about his history and his history with the presidents and so on, and then his history with um, Hillary Clinton, who he considered responsible for like things like the Arab Spring and so on. And he had a hard on for, for Hillary Clinton. Now, we haven't gotten to part two. That's next week. They didn't say that. I thought it was going to be, I was just going to be able to click over to the next part. But no, I have to wait till next week. Spoiled, <laughs> And at that point, I think they're going to start going into the Russian connection in all of this. But I don't think that there's anybody that doesn't think the Russians meddled in our election at this no, point. You know, uh, even Trump said he thought the Russians meddled. Uh, but I don't think it created a, a different outcome. Well, I agree. I, I believe him because he's an expert. Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. Well, he's the president and you're not. Mm hmm. Uh, but I mean, it was, it was, it, you know, it's going to, it, it, it's going to be, um, interesting when we finally start getting all the information. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm talking about the Kennedy assassination. No, yeah. uh, Trump, Trump killed Kennedy. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, the thing is they, they, they've held this, they're holding this off for another six months. I mean, what are the, some, some of the documents? Yeah, I know, but well, no, it's, 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 it's the rest of the documents. <laughs> What's the difference? Why wait six yeah, months? Yeah, that's exactly what well, I'm thinking. I, I think what they're going to do is they're going to redact some information in those in those documents. They need to study them. Years to redact. The I information. think somebody needs is cover is trying to cover their ass, and they need six months to figure out how they're going to do it. Look, the Republicans had seven years to uh, to deal with a uh, Obamacare, but. Uh, they didn't. Why do, why do you These bring Why do you bring something like that up? We're not talking well, about Obamacare. Because you're saying that they had since 1992 yeah. to to redact what they had to redact and to go over those documents. But uh, and you're saying that they didn't do anything about it. I'm saying that these guys don't do anything. I want to know anything. what is in those remaining pieces of information that is so dangerous that they don't want them to come out. I don't think they know what's in it. No, I, I think, think they I think they know exactly what's in it. I think there are uh, implications uh, of of his trip to uh, Mexico and uh, oh, he, the fact uh, that that uh, in fact in fact Oswald. Lee Harvey Oswald might have been a CIA operative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and well, you know, they uh, supposedly they think uh, he was uh, a Russian operative. And uh, and the, and it's interesting. The Russians thought that that assassination could cause a nuclear war with them, and uh, obviously, uh, saner heads appear, you know uh, prevailed. Uh, saner minds. Yes, Mike. Uh, there was something about that today on CNN News. Uh, some guy was saying who did it, did a little bit of investigation said the FBI and the Secret Service filed up on the Kennedy assassination. Why is it when the first fire is shot, they covered up Johnson, 
but not Kennedy. Uh, oh, Johnson wasn't in the car. He was in the back car. He was in the uh, the other car. Well, don't don't they always do that? Wait a minute. Well, Kennedy, it? they yeah. didn't. Yeah. The yeah. Kennedy, they didn't though. Well, Kennedy, uh, they probably had no warning. Uh, you know, when when Kennedy got shot, then they had enough warning to uh, to cover up for the vice president. And here's the other thing. Also, uh, he was saying. How uh, true it is, you have to wait till they get the paper out. Some guy, some guy called from England, in England, said, "Something is something going to happen to the United States very shortly." Then, oh, they're saying a reporter got uh, a, 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 a advance warning of the assassination. No, it wasn't a reporter though. In in England, yeah. Well, they said it was reporter. <laughs> This guy, you, know, this, you can read the archives now. Some of the papers. If you yeah. want to go through all the paperwork. Well, it, so what are you saying, Mike? <laughs> there, were, there was, you know, there was, um, some people say there was no second shooter. Yes, there was a second shooter. How do you know? Uh, Mike did it. <laughs> Bill did it. <laughs> he did it in his underwear. His tiny whiteies. No, no, but uh, how do you? Why? Because one. Uh, when here Trump we here, here we here we here we here we go here we go, go ahead, go on. No, no. I'm give me give me the whole magic bullet theory. Come on, let's let's no, no, get no, out with. That's a magic bullet deal. Huh? That's I had a no. magic bullet. It made uh, really good shakes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're full of shit too. No, 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 the magic bullet. It's one of those uh, anyway, smooth you If you have to explain a joke, Phil, it isn't worth telling. Okay? Well, was uh, I had to explain it to Mike. <laughs> <laughs> well? That's the whole thing with the Kennedy thing is nobody knows, and everybody's trying to figure it out, and everybody's trying to come up with some excuse somewhere about something else that happened that, I just think Joe DiMaggio did it because he was uh, pissed that uh, the uh, Kennedy brothers were doing diddling uh, his ex-wife. Uh, uh, yes, yes, uh, uh, Patrick. Wasn't it you last night that said um, that the very definition of a fluke? That yes. He was able to get three shots off and they just happened to all hit the target. Mm -hmm. I mean... You know, um, I don't know if anybody's seen, you know, or if everybody has seen the movie Full Metal Jacket. Yeah. yeah. And okay, and in there they talk about who shot Kennedy, and somebody stands up and says Lee Harvey Oswald, and, they, and the sergeant says, "Well, how was he able to do it?" And he said, "Because he was a, a marine." And you know, the thing is, with a bolt action rifle. Correct. It seems impossible, but then again, sometimes the impossible happens, and flukes happen. And you know, I I had to laugh at you last night, Alex, because that made the most sense out of just years and years and years. Of, and that was such a simple statement. But what was that? that? That's the very definition of a fluke. And that's yeah. right. That, that's exactly well, that. Yeah, I mean. But uh, it, 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 it's uh, what, what 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 do they call that kind of theory where uh, the most uh, uh, in a situation that uh, uh, the most reasonable uh, the most what's the word I'm what what am I looking for here that the the most uh, the, the what what happened is in fact the most obvious answer yeah, you know Occam's razor. huh Occam's razor exactly. Yeah. It's a perfect example of Occam's razor. I mean, it could be that the simplest answer that Oswald did it was, in fact, what the truth is. And he was a good, he was a great marksman. Yeah. And if you go, if you go through that museum, I went through the museum probably I don't know. It was six, seven years ago, down there in Dallas, and they've got, you know, the everything set up in this one area 
where he supposedly did the shooting. They got the boxes lined up. They got the window that he shot it from. And I look out that window, and it could happen, you know. Yeah. It, was, it could have been a fluke shot, and he got it, and that's what happened. I, I mean... It, it, was a, it was a direct shot, so there's no reason why it wouldn't have happened. And was well, it, when, it, he went by, when he went by the sign, the second shot happened, right? He was up on the, uh, whatever yeah, yeah. floor it is, the third or fourth, fifth floor, no, no, whatever it was of that building. If you look at the Segruder film, but that's when he came out of that side, when his head was blown off, part of it part blown off. You don't think that was a second? Uh, I don't think you blow off part of somebody's brain. I think you pretty well blow off somebody's brain. Blow yeah. off part of his head. Either done or not. Part of his head. Well, you know, I mean, if it had done his whole head, I, that would have been really gruesome. Uh, it's a pretty interesting museum, though, but it, it, yeah. it throws in all these. Well, when you when you look out that window and you see where it happened, I mean, is it close enough that he could have gotten that shot off pretty well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably, if I remember correctly, it seemed to me it was about seventy-five yards, maybe less than that. Yeah, but it was at an angle down, yeah. and they even marked the spot in the street where it got hit, where he got hit. And the whole bit just before he goes underneath the trestle there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so it was kind of a shot, kind of from. Eh, it wasn't exactly straight across the side. It was kind of from the yeah. back, and you know yeah. this kind of an angle. Right. Uh, yes, Patrick. Uh, in, um, I watched a documentary on snipers, maybe about a year or two ago. Yeah. And I just sniper in Vietnam. His name was uh, Carlos Hathcock. And one of his most famous shots was shooting a, an enemy sniper mm -hmm. through the scope. Now, what are the odds of that? I mean, at a it's, mile. It's, at a mile. Well, yeah, about a mile. And as good of a sniper as you can be, that's a shot that not only takes skill, but it takes a lot of luck. I mean, to be able to fire right when you see the glint of the glass of the sniper scope three quarters of a mile away from you and be able to pull that shot off. I mean, you know, it, it, I, I think Oswald was, he was a good shot. And he was a Marine. How do you explain Connolly? Good enough. How do you explain Connolly? Uh, I think the uh, shot went through, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, John, um, Kennedy, and went into Connolly. That it yeah. was it was the same bullet. Didn't they, they, didn't they only find... Uh, 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 <laughs> they didn't find oh, that bullet, Wait a minute, right? wait a minute. I'm suspecting that Rob feels conspiracy here. I'm saying that he, whether it's conspiracy or whether it was two people, I believe that, I don't know that Oswald acted alone. He, one of the things with certain caliber bullets is that they tumble through the body. They don't go straight through. And the thing is, like with Conley, it may have gone through Kennedy, but it may have, you know, I, I've seen some of the diagrams how people have said it would have to make a circle and, and that sort of thing. Well, if you've ever seen what damage like an M6 will do or an M M1 or, or some of these other weapons, the bullet don't just go straight through it. Not like an armor piercing uh, round. It could have ricocheted off the skull. You know, I mean, the skull could have caused it to uh, ricochet. It, I mean, the bullet tumbled through the body, and that's what makes them so dangerous. Uh, I mean, bullets in general are dangerous, but where they tear up the internal uh, portion, and if it went through, as it, you know, if it goes into the head, it may have come out the neck and hit Conley. You know, I mean, I, I don't, I, I'm going with the fluke thing. I mean, to well, me, th this is this is kind of like a show I would have done back in, uh, you know, the 1970s when I was at WPLJ. And all night long, people would call up, and there were all these conspiracy theories and everything. And finally, after hearing all these conspiracy theories, I kind of came to the conclusion 
that what we were doing was a great disservice to the event in that we are muddying up the tracks. You know, uh, we are uh, uh, taking the tracks and 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 just muddying the whole the whole thing up so that we start stop losing sight of what might have really happened, which was and I came up with the most controversial theory in those days that anybody could come up with. And that was that Oswald did it. You know, nobody wanted to hear that Oswald did it. None of the theories were that Oswald did it. It was the guy up on the hill, and it was this guy, and it was that guy. Uh, I think there are bigger questions to be asked that nobody ever asks. Like, for instance, Jack Ruby, his involvement in all of this. Was he put up to that? You know, uh, didn't Jack Ruby uh, know that he was going to pass away shortly from some sort of uh, no, no, he didn't die for years. He, it wasn't uh, no, no? He, he got cancer while he was in prison. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, but you know, but still, I mean, uh, you know, the, the questions that constantly get asked. I mean, if it was anybody, I don't <laughs> think it was the Cubans, and I don't think it was the Russians. If anybody had a motive to kill Kennedy, it would be the mob. The mob, right. And, exactly. And, and I don't, and I think that one of the things, if it was the mob that, and the mob could have then somehow either hired or involved Lee Harvey Oswald to actually physically do the act. But the fact was that the mob had the biggest uh, uh, motive for killing Kennedy. Uh, they hated right. him. It's just interesting how the whole thing played out, right? With with Oswald getting shot, figuring that maybe he was weak and he would he would you know give up what he knew, and I mean, just kind of odd. Yeah, how, yeah. You know, absolutely, completely possible. Uh, but what I'm saying is, I think Oswald did it, but <laughs> I think that it, it, that he may have uh, the the mob. I think was very strongly involved in it. Uh, yes. because uh, they had every reason to. Bobby Kennedy was going after the mob uh, in a very, as attorney general, and uh, their idea was uh, you don't uh, kill the messenger, you cut off the head of the snake. And the, Kennedy was the head of the snake. And as a result, by virtue of that, very shortly after that, Bobby Kennedy was no longer attorney general. You know, right. so, uh, uh, the, the, you know, and uh, just all kinds of associations that the Kennedys had with the mob. I mean, for instance, Jack Kennedy uh, was fucking the same woman at the same time as Sam Giancana in Chicago, the ga noted gangster. Uh, you know, th th there's some linkage there. Uh, so, several people think Bobby... This still, Tim, even though publicly he said he agreed with the Warren Commission, that he still thought the mafia had something to do with it. Uh, 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 Bobby felt that the mafia... Some people around Bobby, uh, Bobby publicly admitted that he, he went along with the Warren Commission findings. But a lot of people thought he still, in his mind, just really thought the mafia could have had... Well, something I mean, to do with the it. mob had... had a couple of good reasons to do it. Not only was Bobby going after the mob, after the mob helped Kennedy get elected. you got to remember, it was Sam Giancana and those votes in Chicago that got Kennedy elected, all right? That's right. right. So going right. after Giancana and going after the mob when Bobby became uh, attorney general was actually uh, a betrayal to the mob, Okay. Secondly, you had this uh, the the this this uh, woman that both uh, Kennedy and and um, uh, Sam Giancana were having sex with at the same time. I mean, in other words, she would be in Washington and fuck John, and then she would go to Chicago and fuck Giancana. That was uh, what's her name? Uh, Phyllis uh, Phyllis McGuire. No, not Phyllis McGuire. Yes. No, it was wasn't Phyllis McGuire. No, it was uh, Exeter. Or uh, something. Yes, uh, Kenneth Judith Exner. Yeah, that was her name. Uh, or what about the, the Hoover memo? What about the Hoover memo? Uh, where he said, the thing I'm concerned about is oh. uh, having something issued so that we can convince the public 
Oswald was the real assassin. That that appeared in one of the memos they ran. Yes, but I don't know what that's supposed to mean exactly. You know, it, is, well, no, it's it, that's because we don't have the rest of the documents. Yeah, I mean, he could just have been saying basically we have to make people realize or believe that that Oswald did it because that's the case, you know, and that it's important that we not l let all these other theories go rampant. Uh, not that the I same trust. Reason that that Ford pardoned Nixon is we need to move on. Just got to move on. It, it, well, probably this is coming from the same kind of philosophy. Yeah, yeah that yeah. kind of old school thinking. Now, the thing that worries me the most about this release of documents, mm -hmm. you know, he Trump really thought he was going to release everything till the day before when the CIA and the FBI got to him, and either. There's something in there possibly about Russia or possibly about the mob. And he said, and they convinced the president, you know, you release these documents in, in implicating the mob, even if they didn't do it, but in, implying more, more evidence that might lead to the mob or to Russia. It's just not going to be good for you, Mr. President. Well, I think to, to also... Um, uh, assign the blame for the assassination of a president as a mob hit does not make America sleep well at night. You know, it's not the kind of message we want that our... Oh, and so how did Kennedy die? Well, it was a mob hit. You know, uh, it, they, they, they wanted to not include that possibility, but I think that there was an involvement. I think that they put Oswald up to it um, uh, he may have even been offered some kind of major payment uh, if he pulled it off. Um, but I don't yeah, think... How was he going to escape? I don't think he really had an escape plan. Though. Well, apparently he did, but he plan. but he did for a short time. He just got stupid. He got out of there and was running around, and he went into that theater, and a cop came in after him, and he shot the cop as well, a major tippet. I remember that they don't too. Think they don't want him to escape, right? They they uh, they want to kill him. They want a killing, and then 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 they want and you know the the killer. Yeah. And, wasn't and, the and, body destroyed? Wasn't the body destroyed? Wasn't the body destroyed kind of early on too? That's what they so said. So they couldn't do additional autopsies. No, it was buried. Really, it was buried really fast. It was buried pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, but well, uh, was it the well I mean, kill, look, I mean, uh, wait, 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 wait. There's no mystery as to who killed Oswald. I mean, right. hell, I was, was sitting, I was sitting there television. watching television. I'm a witness to that crime. Okay, no, but live. Who put, who put Jack up to it? Because he was in pretty good well, with the cops. Well, that's uh, that's that's that, that that's another that's another link to the mob is is Jack right. Ruby, who you know pretty well. I think was a, so while he wasn't. A made man, I think he was, you know, associated with mobsters. Yes, uh, Patrick. I always kind of figured that the reason Jack Ruby offed Oswald is because Oswald was, he was hired for the hit, but then, like you said, he escaped and then he got stupid, and the mob didn't want to deal with that. So right. they, they had Jack Ruby get rid of the idiot because... If he would have just gone west and, and stayed away or, or whatever, because I'm guessing there was money exchange, the mob would have never had to have done a hit on him, or at least as soon as they did. Yeah. Uh, I just think it was to get rid of the stupidity. Uh, they got their job done that they wanted. Kennedy was killed. So we're going to send Jack in there. He's in ill health. He's right. fine with it. And tie up the loose end of Oswald because he's obviously not mature enough yeah. to, to be a hitman. So what we're pretty much all agreeing on, perhaps except for Mike, who's going to stick with some of those older theories, is that Oswald did do it. It's just a question of who put him up to it. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Well, like I said, I still have a question. I'm not, I'm not buying the, the magic bullet theory, so... That's right. That's I think right. somebody else was there. I'm saying I believe it was the mob, but I still think it was another shooter. Yes. Well, if you look I... at the Segura film, 
when he came out, when yeah, Jack Kennedy was like this, after he got shot through the neck, okay. That bolt he came out. Of, okay, when he, uh, when he. Uh, by the way, by the way, there are frame, there are frame, there, there, are frame, there, are frame, there, there are frames missing from the Zapruder film, you know. Well, I don't think so. Yes, there are. I've never heard that. I, I've I heard that that there are frames missing, a few frames. Uh, but but right. after he came out from the sign, that's when the bullet, the other shot from the grassy knoll, shot him, hit him on the side of the head. It was multiple hits. Something got him in the throat, and then he got the side of the head. Was, that was, that was uh, Oswald that shot him in the throat. You could see him go like this. Yeah. yeah. But he came and out I, behind I, the Think side. about that. You have that brief period of time. And I was up there looking out that window. Looking down, you've. I mean, if you had an automatic weapon, maybe, but you've got to cock the bolt back, boom, and get it off again. Accurate to hit him twice, once in his throat and once on the head. Boy, that is some shit. Again, With a bolt, again, right. get lucky you know, once, but then get lucky twice. Somebody once said uh, uh, something happens and then something happens. Coincidence, perhaps. Well, the answer is that's what coincidence is. You know, and 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 what people completely discredit in any of this is the possibility of exactly that, you know, that that this was a fluke that that, yes, it is pretty hard to get those bullets off. But somehow he he managed to do it, you know, With and that it, it can be done. It can be done. But it's, you know, what, what were you saying? Well, first. Rob had something to say, and then Patrick, yes, Just, Rob. You know, with, I mean, jitters and nerves. I mean, you're not sitting, you know, trying to hit a target. You're trying to hit the president. Yeah. So there's got to be adrenaline. There's got to be all kinds of stuff going yeah. on. Yeah. It just doesn't add up. And I think I've heard, now, I, you know, I don't want to say fake news, but I think I've heard they've tried, they've tried to uh, duplicate duplicate that and they can't nobody even the best shots are well, simulated I, you know, the the other thing is that was a twenty dollar mail order rifle that's what they said it was a twenty dollar mail order rifle uh my friend uh you know who uh was a martinez cop that i uh, had on the show a few months ago he uh he's a sniper and the city of martinez bought him a sniper rifle it was ten thousand dollars yeah. You know, I know it's been a few years since 1963, but $10,000 is a long way from 20 bucks. You know, hmm. you know, think about it. I mean, you know, and then, and the, and the, and, um, uh, the uh, rifle that uh, Patrick was talking about, uh, that the, uh, s uh sniper, uh, uh, used, you know, the famous sniper with all those kills. He, his rifle was like a 10 or $12,000 rifle. Yeah. Yeah, hey, I got one for Rob. Did, did you guys hear that uh, Oswald met in Mexico City with the KG, KGB agent? No, oh, that's an old. That's an old. That's an old. That's an old story. That's old. That's an old. Is that an old one? Okay. So is the assassination. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we we Charlene keeps trying to call in, but somehow she's not grabbing for some reason. Hey, so I I to change the subject. I have a new toy. Yeah. Oh, not today. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's not. Let's not. Does this, it, let's get to that in a little bit, okay? Yeah. Let's stick with this subject for a bit because uh, people seem to be interested in it. I can tell by looking at who's listening. Uh, but well, tell us anyway, and then we'll get back to the. Oh no, no no go ahead. No, you and you got a new tell time. Come on. <laughs> so all right. So I found a. a yeah, I go to Root.com a lot. Ever, it's used to be one deal a day, mm -hmm. some crazy bargain, and when it's sold out, mm -hmm. that was it. There yeah, was nothing. You said you bought a TV or something for a very oh, low price. I bought all. No, no I, I didn't get that. At oh, something no. else. It used to be a, an independent website, and then of course Amazon bought it. So now they have a shit ton of stuff on there, and all different kinds of categories. And I and I wanted. I've been hearing about this, and I decided to pick one up. I have the. Um, uh, the uh, Alexa, the full yeah, size yeah, Amazon yeah. Echo. Yeah, I have one of those. You have the tap. This is the tap. Oh, the tap. What's the, what's the difference between the tap and the? So the tap is portable. 
Oh, I see. Okay. No wire. This thing, it, it comes with a small little, um, uh, like a little, it looks like a little cup. And you just set it in there and it charges. Mm -hmm. And then when you're done, and I like I had this out in the garage with me today, mm -hmm. sound quality on this thing is phenomenal. And the, the volume level on it is tremendous. Yeah, right. how, how much did you pay for it? I paid $59 for it. Oh. Right. Right. It, it probably great. is the same quality as mine. Mine isn't uh, portable, however. Mine you know, has to be plugged into a wall. But, I love this. But I, 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 I find it. Today. I, I thought. Shower, put it in there. I was listening to the end. When I bought it, they, they, they were so cheap that when I bought it, uh, I just said, oh, well, I'll order it. And it was kind of like my Apple Watch, which I t have told you I love. I love my Apple Watch. Uh, you, do you realize and, that uh, well, well, what, can uh, I finish uh, what today? I'm saying, please? All right, it's this is important though. Well, Go well, ahead. I know, but it's not so important to interrupt me until I'm through talking. Well, you love your Apple Watch. No, what, no, I said about, I love uh, my. Oh God, the, uh, uh, Amazon okay, forget thing. it, forget it. Anyway, what what was so important? You had to say it, Phil. Uh, Rob's purchase caused uh, uh, Jeff Bezos to become the richest person in the world today. He surpassed uh, Bill Gates. So now, uh, so that one purchase, that $59, put uh, Bezos over the, over the threshold, and now he, he happens to be the richest man in the world today. Uh, For an he, hour. <laughs> well, no, I, I think he finished the day. He's still the richest guy. Uh, there was a 10 or 12% increase in Amazon stock today. And... Uh, and that, or, or, and that's what uh, uh, put him over the top. But go back to Apple now. now that I'm no, done with Amazon. I, I don't want to even talk about it. I really don't. I just, you know. All right. But this is also a Bluetooth speaker, so you can pair it with things. Yeah. Uh, and it does. You, you don't say Alexa to it. There's a little button here, and you press. Oh well, uh, what I did is I I changed mine from Alexa to Echo. You, you can change what you call it. In other words, you can say Alexa, and then it will respond. Or you can say, can you say hey, fuckface? Hey, no, you know, no, but you can, you can put on your own name, okay? And I decided not to use Alexa because people would come in the room and say, Alexa, oh, Alex, what? And all of a sudden, she'd start talking. So uh, I just made it so I say Echo, and that works fine. And uh, unless we have my Chinese friends over and her name happens to be Echo, I think I'm safe. I think I'm safe. But um, uh, the, what I was going to say, what happened to Phil? Did he just leave us? Uh, uh, I guess he... I, no, just standing up doing stuff listening. Oh, okay, fine. Uh, anyway, um, I um, when I got the Echo, I didn't think I would... I would you know, I just play with it right and by golly i put it in the kitchen that was the best place to put it because i use it when i'm cooking i tell it uh hey uh, alexa uh set the timer for 15 minutes uh or i can play some music while i'm cooking in the kitchen or i can listen i want to make sure that uh uh gabnet is on the air okay i go uh, alexa uh, i to uh, you know tune in and they say uh, last station played, and there, there, there's Gabnet. Uh, what else do I use it for? Oh yeah, whenever a girlfriend wants something that she wants me to pick up at Costco, or next time I go out shopping, she says add it to the list, and it's on my iPhone. Yep. So when I go to there, I immediately bring up the list, the Alexa app, and the lists, and there's uh, all the stuff she asked me to get. So it it really is useful. And Absolutely. It's, I like this because I could take it with me where I go, wherever I go. And it's more useful if you've got like a light dimming system that that it re reacts to, and you can say, you know, dim the lights, Alexa. I mean, this is like, this is uh, this is living in the wor in the home of the future. I just put in the uh, two Nest thermostats, and Alexa can now control my uh, thermostats. Yeah. So you know. Um, but uh, I guess we're far away now from the Kennedy assassination, so we can't get back to that topic. Um, did anybody else have anything to say on that uh, that topic? What what happened to Phil? Where are you, Phil? Oh, I, I went taking a peek. 
Oh. Oh, right. well, I'm surprised you don't have to do that more because you talk about how you have trouble peeing and having uh, to pee every five minutes, and you never leave to go take a pee while we're on the air. I take the Cialis uh, at, uh, with dinner around six. Uh, Cialis with dinner. Is that go, how does Cialis, what kind of wine do you use with Cialis? Uh, uh, what kind of wine? <laughs> yeah, what kind of wine goes good with Cialis? Uh, uh, David. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, hey, I, you know, I, I want to get some tonight. <laughs> uh, or can I, you know, can I have some sex tonight? That's it, that's yeah. usually the wine yeah. that. Uh... But uh, anyway, um, uh, Alex. Yes. Oh, you can hear me. Yeah. Oh, um, I, I heard a bit of Trump thing on the news tonight. Um, that that he's doing something. The electric uh, problem in uh, Puerto Rico. It's sort of like a fixed connection or something, you know, whatever company. Wait a minute, that, that, story, that story is five days old, six days oh, is old. It? Well, it's this, it it's this company. That's uh, the one with two employees? Th yeah, two is employees. It, what, they, they, white they, fish. They, they, white fish, and they had, two, they, had two, they had two employees. And they got a $300 million contract <clears throat> from the Puerto Rico Electric Company, uh, which, by the way, was going bankrupt, and this is probably a good reason why, is you hire a guy, a company with two people, uh, and they got this, this very expensive contract, and it just so happens that one of those two employees was like the son of a, of a, of a congressman or senator. Uh, uh, you know. Of the huh? Secretary of the Interior, Zinke. right. Mr. Zinke. Yeah. Uh, it's and, Montana based, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Yeah, uh, and, and everybody's asking, you know, why did they get the contract? You know, maybe they had some innovative way of uh, restoring power. No, they don't. No, no. Is this the reason they why they have three hundred? It's this. What? They only have three hundred employees down there, and it was after Katrina they had ten thousand. Yeah. You so, know. 300 people are not going to do well, nothing. Well, because it's Puerto Rico, right? It's not part of... Well, you know, and, and they have people Puerto dying of... No, Puerto Puerto Rico in size now. is larger than New Orleans, for crying out loud. If they have an innovative way of anything, it's an innovative way of, forgive the expression, Alex and Phil, Jewing money as much possible from the American public. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, the fact of the matter is everybody is now asking questions why this company... Mm. Is this the yeah. reason why they haven't gotten their power? I mean, well, it's know, one of the reasons. reasons, you know. Okay. And why aren't they getting the antibiotics? Because it's so hard to get everything there or something, right? Well, I, they're I not getting get the weather. antibiotics well, because this country, yeah. because Trump, I, I, I don't think until this happened, Trump even knew that Puerto Ricans were right. Americans. Right. You he know, didn't. Right. Uh, and he, he certainly. Have you heard him saying, oh, I love when he was going. Puerto Rico, Puerto yeah. Rico. He did it like, I was like, oh, my God. Yeah, but, I mean, I, 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 it was almost like he was chiding them. It was terrible. Puerto Rico yeah. can only accept American goods imported. They can't, like, import from other countries. Is, did I hear that right? Mm -hmm. there's, kind of, uh, there's a lot of trade restrictions and whatnot. But what do you mean, since the, since the hurricane? Well, forever, since Puerto no, Rico. The Jones Act. Care. The Jones Act. Yes. They have to be... Uh, they have to be vessels that came from the United States to make deliveries. And it costs twice as much. So that's yeah. why they don't get anything. Oh. The shipping uh -huh. industry got it through plus the longshoremen. So what is it? Ha what is it? They can't buy any products that aren't made in America? No, no, they can't. It has to be delivered by American ships that have well, left them I see, board. okay. When was the Jones Act in, uh, 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 set up? I think it was I, the 60s or 70s. I'm not really sure. I have to look oh, up. was that real? It was a while ago. Did, did you hear what Trump said to the kids, the Halloween kids today? I saw that. He said they had a great group there or something. He <laughs> questioned them. What did he ask them? Uh, oh, well, some stupid well, he was, question. He was passing them out. He said, how did you get such great kids? Because they were journalists. Kids. Right. Oh, and then he started asking them, um, like, uh, how, like, uh, are you going to treat me? You know, oh, You're not going to turn out like your parents. Right, right, right. <laughs> in a very, in a, and then good. what he said, he started handing out the candy, and he looked at the one little girl and said, oh, you don't have a weight problem. Here, you can have some. 
Ooh. Can you believe it? Well, he has <laughs> one, so I can, unfortunately, he he, he does right. have a young he, girls. Yeah, he does have I'm a harassing a seven or eight year old. Right, right. Yeah, that, 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 you know, when you're that age, that is sexual harassment. My Maybe book. it's a supportive statement. Oh, oh. oh, hey Phil, turn your by turn a your by off. a guy who is so fat he has no right to call anybody else fat. Especially a woman, and and we're during the Weinstein week. Come on. <laughs> I heard Harvey because Harvey Firestein is catching a lot of flack because his name is Harvey, and people think it's him or something. I heard a joke. Well, yeah, cause nobody can pronounce the Jewish names probably. <laughs> Speaking of that, I don't know if anybody noticed the other day when he was signing that opioid thing. Did you notice Trump. that those those two kids were standing there in front of him, and the president hands him. Hands one of the kids the pen that he signed it with, like they do, mm. and then he asked for it back. no, he went to give it to another one to the other kid, and Christy jumped up there and snagged it out of his hand, <laughs> and then shook his hand, and the kids standing there looking at him, going like, "What the wait, fuck wait, happened wait, here?" And then they all walked away. Was was this Christy? Chris Christy? Chris Christy? Yeah. That's We're that. just lucky Christy didn't trip and crush the darn kid. <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, I go, what an asshole. <laughs> if that, with any I luck, the kid would have found the air Christy. pocket so they could, uh, you know, survive. They're great with children, aren't they? The two of them. You know, Chris Christie, Chris Christie, Chris, 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 Chris Christie is the, yeah. is the epitome of that joke. Uh, how does Chris Christie look thinner, fat? Yeah. You, you know what I think of from when I see Christie? I think of Boss Tweed cartoons. Yeah. Right, right. But where <laughs> he had his, he had his stomach stapled, so. but apparently the yeah, staple nothing. He hasn't lost that the much, staples you know? must have fallen out or something. Uh, he, Look he at Al Roker. Out. He <laughs> lost a tremendous amount of weight. Al Roker's like a skeleton. Chris yeah. Christie is still fat. <laughs> Chris Christie oh, no. was so fat, you know. Uh, How fat he, was he? he was, yeah, well, when he yeah. sat around the house, he, he sat really sat around the house. Yeah. Asked him the whole ass. It took two trips. Yeah, <laughs> he was so beach he take was take so it. fat yeah. that when he stood on a street corner wearing red, white, and blue, they stuffed mail in his mouth. I remember the Hubble telescope <laughs> mistook his pubic hairs for a black hole. But I remember oh. photos of him prior to uh, uh, the stomach uh, band or whatever he got, the la uh, laparoscopic Lap band. band yeah. uh, and uh, he, he was a lot heavier. Lap uh, band? I oh, thought you said was, dance. Uh, like forklift hair heavy or what? He had a uh, circumference yeah. like a globe. It's about the, the circumference has come down a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Two I heifers you, on a I bet you he had a 55-inch waist before the uh, before the. Well, you remember the time he showed up? He showed up at a baseball game wearing a baseball oh, outfit, oh God, and he was the only guy I've ever seen who had camel toe. Oh God, it was horrible. <laughs> yes, Patrick. And that was in Milwaukee. What? That was at a Milwaukee game. Oh, oh my really? God! Yeah. <laughs> it was in Milwaukee. Well, that's what he's going to do now, you know. Uh, you had front row seats to that, didn't you, Patrick? You're from Wisconsin, aren't you? He's going to oh. become a sportscaster now. That's nah. what he wants to do or something. He was on WFAN for a while. He's And somebody somebody attacked him on the on the air. And, yeah, and yeah. there was a some, it was New back. Jersey guy. Yeah, there was some banter oh, back. Oh, because New Jersey guys hate him, yeah. But, uh, he embarrassed you know, himself. Oh, he does when he yells at his constituents like that. It's terrible. But, like, then he did the Ask the Governor show. He was nice there. He was telling people, oh, next, uh, tomorrow morning, call my office and we're going to see to this gets fixed. I said, I was waiting for him to start yelling at everybody on that show. Now, he's going to he's gonna have a Jersey radio career. I, I, I know he will. Because I've, I've met people here that brag about how their husbands work with them and everything, you know. He'll, he'll go on a local Jersey station and he'll start calling off the sports or something like that. Uh, from what I he says, what from he what he says, do. from what he says, he doesn't want to do radio, and I got to tell him he probably shouldn't, because as someone right. who's in that business, there's no it's work. Dead. There's no <laughs> work. I'm sorry. And now the fact that you don't even have to have the station in the market in which your transmitter is, uh, you, uh, uh, what, what? Yeah. So, oh yeah, there, there's the fat. Well, wait a minute. Well, let me bring this up. Before and after. Being, this is before and after. 
there's uh, yeah, yeah. That is, he has lost some weight. There's no question uh, about that. Yeah, they, but not uh, as much as Al Roker did with that. Well, uh, according to this doctor, uh, uh, he's, this doctor says he he lost a hundred pounds. Well, that's pretty good. That was a lot. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, Al what Roker. Six hundred. <laughs> also, remember that Al Roker wasn't as fat as he was. Right. You know. No, so, he wasn't. You know, you know. So to say, hey, you know, Al Roker's not fat. Well, he got too thin. He looks like. Uh, oh, who's the guy? No, he Adam no, he, Adam he's like he's gained a lot of it back. You know. The, the guy. Uh, you know who I mean, Alex Sharpton. He he looks like he had bad lap band and lost too much. Because his head is so big like a bobblehead now, right? Remember, he, he was like head- he got cancer. Yeah, he looks sick. He does, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I you know what happens when you first lose weight? I think you look a little sick, actually. I think well, I, I, get, I, your skin has to adjust. I, yeah. I think I looked a bit on the ill side when I lost weight, and I'm the same. I've gained a few pounds this week. Uh, I was at like at 185 and back to 188, but I always consider 188 the weight that I'm at. And I've been mm. that for, you know, losing some, gaining some, but never going over the 188, under uh, over the 188. Uh, so I pretty much, but when, when I when I was at this exact weight maybe four or five months ago, I think my face looked a lot more gaunt than it looks now, you know. Uh Although you guys may want to disagree and say I look like death warmed over, but, you know. uh, No, I think you look good now, but don't lose too much more, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know. Being underweight is much more dangerous than being overweight. Yeah, well, actually, I I don't think that's true. I mean, you can't tell me that, you know, that Chris Christie is a healthy-looking person, or that even Trump is he's a healthy-looking person. He's got very bad person. skin, too. Like, if you really look, he's, like, pimply-looking. Oh, God, he's so gross. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's a gross, gross person. Yeah. but And uh, I, we're off. having our election. I hope, uh, you know, that Gorg Dagno well, woman doesn't get in, because she's just like him, you know, the lieutenant. Didn't she have something to do with the bridge thing? Yes. Yeah. Or well, there's a woman in jail for that. But I, I don't know who this Murphy guy is, the Democrat guy. I don't really know much about him. But that's his big commercial. I don't know why is it. I sit here. I sit here in New York. Okay, uh, whenever there's an election, I sit here in New York and watch all these commercials on television about uh, about about what's going on, right? And about the election and everybody, you know, making their claims. This guy's a crook. That guy's a crook, and so on. And yet, it's funny. But every time I and this has been going on for years, right? Every time I watch these ads, they all look like fucking crooks, right? You know, the, yeah. I think I think there's just a it's Jersey. The, it's Jersey. <laughs> there right, is a right, certain is. Jer- Jersey strong that is, you know, like you look like you're a mobster. Everybody looks like they're from The Sopranos, for Christ's sake. Charlie, what happened with the gas prices in New Jersey? I used to drive through New Jersey and. War was always 25 cents a gallon cheaper than any place else. Well, now, what happened now is after the gas was so cheap, he, he put in a tax, Christy. He I taxed see. the gas because it was so cheap. Yeah. Well, they did that they in legal fees. Well, you know, what, it, it, what is Trump going to do? What's Trump going to do? Because it was it you, uh, Rob, that said that it's going to be 40 percent more in taxes now. Oh, no. More tax than we paid in 40 years. That's what you said. There's right? a one and a half trillion dollar deficit uh, with this new um, uh, budget bill. Uh, so uh, I guess it's not uh, a bill. Uh, it's an outline. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. Oh, thank God it's uh, not but, a bill yet. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> Hopefully I thought, it'll never be anything but- didn't it pass? Uh, uh, whoever had a vote for it? No, no, no. They passed the budget. Yeah, not, not the tax. It, not the tax, at it, not the tax I mean. but the budget. And that was the first step, and it was a one and a half trillion dollar additional deficit. Mm-hmm. Addition- right. Now you're, you're correct. That rich people are not going to have to help pay for it. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that deficit could go well, away. Well, I mean, the, the whole, the whole, the whole idea that there's, the that, that there's going to be tax you know, re- tax reform is absolutely uh, insane. Don't believe it, um, because I mean, I, in in just talking to my business manager, because I had to find out what to do because uh, I don't want to have a tax liability for something that we would like to to take advantage of. 
And uh, he would told he told us don't do it because it was a matter as I think what we were talking about the other day about if you if you pay for insurance for health insurance is that tax deductible, and to a certain extent it is tax deductible. But uh, to begin with, I think it has to be over ten percent of your gross income. Okay, and secondly, he said. I wouldn't do it because you don't know what this government's going to do next because what they're planning on doing is, yeah, they're going to give you, instead of a $12,000 automatic deduction, they're going to give you 24000 but they're doing away with all the de other deductions that you could possibly have. So that $12,000 more isn't going to amount to shit. In fact, but you're going to wind up paying more in taxes uh, under under Trump's plan, the twenty four thousand dollars deduction is for a married couple. No, uh, no, no, no. That's for an individual. Okay. Well, so what uh, would it be for a married couple then? I, 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 I it was think, twelve. I think it was more than that. I think it. I am I right, Rob? Do you know about this? It's twelve thousand yeah. now. I think it sounds. It's twelve thousand now. Twelve thousand yeah. now. That before you start paying taxes. Isn't it? Uh, I have no idea. I have no idea either. But if it's married couple, it's hard to believe they'd give you $24,000 before you pay taxes. If you make less than $24,000 with kids, you get an earned income credit. So that could well be. By the way, I'm against earn, I'm against credit for every family who has it, for every child a family has, they can take off a deduction. I think they should be able to take it off. But they're for going the, to increase that too. No, but Alex. they. I think they should allow it for the first two kids, and every kid they have after that, you start penalizing them. Okay. And I don't penalize. think they should be able to deduct like the billion dollar homes either. Huh? I think they should penalize from the first kid on. Well, I mean, no, I think I think two kids. That's it. More than two kids. Fuck you. You owe us money. Yeah, yeah. I'm not discriminated against because I don't have kids. I well, pay uh, top dollar well, for everything. Uh, yeah, we're we're we're. Uh, you're quite right. Uh, because uh, Marjorie and I are are discriminated against because we don't have kids. I've never had kids. I don't have them as a deduction, and I can't sponge off of them when I'm uh, 84 years old. So you know, I mean, we we we, you know, I, a you're quite part of right. Your demographic, Alex. You're quite What's right. What's wrong Rob? with a flat tax that that's raised or lowered depending on how much money you make on a yearly basis? Well, I mean, what's wrong with that? Well, you know, it's just flat across the board. So one of the reasons why I bought a home. Two, Wait a minute. Five, Hold five, on a six. second. Rob, Rob is saying One of the something. reasons why I bought a home is because, A, I could afford it. But, B, for what I pay in rent here, when you average in what I get back in taxes because of the tax uh, of the, you know, the mortgage interest, mm -hmm. I actually live cheaper. And that's an, an incentive for people to buy property. To now, buy the question is, is that taken off your federal taxes? Because, you know, I, I'll give you an ex example of the federal tax. There are uh, I get back a lot of money every year from the state of New York because whatever tax I pay to the government and so on, I can take off as a deduction off of my state taxes. But there's stuff on federal taxes you can't take off, you know, and... Uh, uh, the, the government completely screws you over, uh, you know, completely. Uh, okay. Uh, it says that the uh, under the proposed uh, proposal, tax breaks for individuals and married couples filing separately will increase from 6300 to 12600 The standard deduction for married couple filing jointly will jump from $12,700 uh, 12, to approximately $24,000. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. But still... From what I'm, so it, from what so I'm told by him, no matter what happens, you're still going to get screwed in the end because they're going to take away stuff uh, like they're trying to fuck with the 401ks and they're trying to make sure that you can't deduct a lot of things that you used to be able to deduct. Hell, I remember there was a time when I could deduct interest. Yes, I remember yeah. when they – and, yeah. and, 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 and so – I remember my father in 1965 bought a boat, and it was deductible as a second home, uh, and he could, uh, and it was one of the reasons he bought it. Other than he wanted, well, you're it, lucky he it, didn't wind up in jail. But anyway, <laughs> uh, those years, in those years, they, it was it was allowed. Well, what I'm saying, if it had a bathroom on it. What I'm saying, what I'm, yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, saying, what I'm saying is there, there, there was a time where all interest, 
that you paid was tax deductible. Therefore, it was worthwhile to go out and buy things on time and pay interest because that interest was tax deductible. Yeah. And, and, and you beat the inflation rate. Too. Yeah, when they did you away with when they, they did up. when they did away with that, that not only hurt the individual, but it also hurt businesses because people weren't buying stuff on credit on time and whatever. Uh, yeah. And also, the the if you were to buy an automobile, there was a time when if you bought a hundred thousand dollar car, you could you could write it off. Now uh, there's a limit to the value of the car that can be written off. I don't remember what it is, like thirty nine thousand. Well, you can't write off. You can't write off a car. You can't write off a car at all. I did. I wrote. Yeah, I wrote. Uh, no, uh, I wrote off a car. Expensive. I wrote off a car. No, you can't write off a car. Okay, uh -huh. you can't. Yeah. Well, let me finish. Because I know about this. You can write off uh, the cost of going around in that car during a work day. Mileage. For, for mileage, but you can't on the amount to go to work and coming home. Everything uh, else, wait a minute, let me finish. Everything else is taxed, well, I don't know if it still is, was tax deductible. Now, so far as owning a car is concerned, I own two cars. The first car wasn't tax deductible. The second car was, okay? Well, because I, I consider I, that my business car. And the corporation owns the car. Yeah. And so, and, and... And I was a corporation. And, yeah, and yeah. Then, therefore, uh, what happens is, is I can depreciate that purchase, uh, uh, but you're limited to the amount of depreciation that you can take on the on the value. So if you bought a seventy or a hundred thousand dollar car, you couldn't fully depreciate it the way you. Uh, all I'm saying, a, look, you, we're getting off what I was saying. What I was saying at one time, you could take off all interest, if, no matter yeah. what it was. Yeah. You went out and bought a candy bar, and they charged you a tax on it. Uh, you got to take that interest off, and so automatically people would. There was a certain percentage you could just do automatically because you can't, you know see every piece of interest but the trouble with with it with and and also taxes a sales tax you could take sales tax off i don't think you can do that anymore you should be able to take sales tax off because let's face it let's say you make a hundred thousand a year and say after taxes you take home sixty thousand dollars a year let's just say that now you're going to go out you're going to buy stuff with the sixty thousand and every time you buy something, they're charging you another 8% tax in most states. Okay? So you're I'm paying, paying more. Here. Yeah, you're mm -hmm. paying another secret tax that you didn't have to pay originally. You shouldn't have to pay any sales tax. You know? because uh, And if you do, that should be tax deductible. But it isn't. Well, uh, so Catalonia. Uh, separated from right. Spain. Today. Boy, you know, you you just changed this discussion. Oh, I thought at, we were done with that one. You know. Well, uh, let me be. Boring. Let me be. Let me be the person who decides that. Oh, okay. What about Catalonia? <laughs> Is that what we call it now? Is we have to call it? Well, the, no. In the in, in, in the case of Phil, we call it Catatonia. Yeah. Uh, well, aren't they going to try to arrest the uh, the, uh, the the new leader of uh, Catalonia? Well, this is going to in prison. Yeah, this is going to create, I think, a major problem for Spain. I think we may start seeing another civil war. Uh, and and what uh, happened uh, to Bre uh, to um, uh, you know the EU? Because now right. Catalonia won't be in the Catalonia, EU. Catalonia, that was it, right? <laughs> The, the, I, the thing is, the, I couldn't think of that country. This Estonia. thing with Catalonia has been going on ever since. I mean, you go back to the days of Francisco Franco. Uh, 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 you know, he he kept the Catalan people down. And in fact, if you went, as I've I've told the story before, if you went to uh, uh, Barcelona in those days, that town was just just the poorest, oh, no. the most wretched city you could ever imagine. Uh, and it was because he took, you know, he was taking out his his wrath on Catalonia, and and, he, and since Barcelona was kind of considered the capital of Catalonia, uh, he would not allow it to happen. Would not allow the Catalan people uh, to uh, to uh, uh, exist prosper. and prosper. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was horrible. 
And so I think that Catalan has deserved the right to become its own either principality or its own uh, its own country. Uh, uh, I got another question for Phil. Yeah. Uh, Phil, what's in the uh, sealed indictment, do you think? Uh, it's going to prove that you, Tim, uh, killed the president. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Well, Tim, how did you come up with that? We're talking about Catalonia. Follow the conversation. <laughs> what, what, what did that have to do with it, Tim? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he I'm likes Catalonia, I but I, you know, I, I I love Barcelona. I was I only visited. Yeah, we know we after- hear we're going to get another one of your vacation tr- uh, stories. <laughs> well, you know, I've been to Barcelona, be and that's why I'm for Catalonia. Can I ask Rob a question? <laughs> yeah, you know, um, I saw something about how Court TV covered like a certain case, and you know, I know you uh, worked for Court TV. You know what happened, Rob? That it it's not around anymore. What is? Why can't we stay on one topic at a time? <laughs> well, he doesn't have a Facebook, so I could message him, or I would have done something like that. Well, no, but Sorry. I mean, I mean, uh, yes, uh, uh, Rob, take it. So what happened was uh, Steve Brill, who owned Court TV, got in bed with uh, NBC, Time Warner, and a couple of others, taking in money. And what happened was they one day he woke up. And they had control of the company. I was there that day. And they NBC. Came in, NBC, Time Warner. Mm-hmm. They came in and they walked into the door. And, and shut it down. Uh, no, well, they didn't shut it down right away. But they made some changes and, and uh, eventually it became True TV. It's still there. It's True TV. But that's the Nancy Grace stuff and all that, right? No, Nancy Grace is on HLN, isn't she? Oh. Yeah, yeah. So but, what did Court TV become? It became H. It became uh, True TV. Oh, all right, but that's nothing like Court TV, though. No, it's not. Uh, they oh. started putting on regular, like, legal TV shows at night. They took off the, the you know, they had just did trial coverage. Law and Order, because that's maybe where I saw this thing about the Menendez brothers. Right, Might and have then been that station. Just turned it off, and they went True TV. So he, it, what happened is he he lost control of the company, and oh. uh, you know the Titans decided we could make more money putting on reality television programs. Yeah, because I was like, I just remember I thought there was something wrong with me. I was like addicted to the Jeffrey Dahmer thing I and the real court footage. Ah, well, Phil, is, you've, uh, been, you've been... Charlene, uh, you, do you think that there's going to be a uh, uh, battles in the streets in the Catalan? You know, I, I, you know, are are they going to send no, you're just, military now troops? Now you're, you're jealous because she took us into the ditch better than you ever have. Well, okay, <laughs> that's true. You that's know, she managed true. to well, derail derail like the discussion more remember. than you you ever have. You no, know, well, was, if, in answer to that what question, Phil, Alex knows what he's talking about. He knows a lot about Spain, and he just said that he thinks that might happen. Now they're going to go into a civil war, right? Well, well, I'm, I'm afraid. You know, they 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 had one of the bloodiest civil wars ever of all time. Years ago, the Spanish Inquisition, or <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, the Spanish Civil War, in which uh, they were, they were the, they were the loyalists, and there was the, uh, you know, the, the uh, uh, there were those who wanted a king and those who didn't want a king, and Batista, uh, not Batista, but uh, Fr- Franco was uh, was fighting for the uh, for the monarchy basically and said you remember when he was still dead it, on, well, no, if, if, <laughs> right. yes. uh, again you're, again you're derailing what I'm saying here yeah, Catalan doesn't have an army Wait a minute, look, know, look, look, how can they can I, can I finish what I'm trying to say about about uh, Franco and they, and they had this bloody civil war over who would be, whether the, they would have a monarchy or not and ultimately Franco won. And then, rather than bring on the monarchy, uh, he said, "Look, I'm going to be president for life, and when I'm dead, we will then restore uh, the king to his rightful place on the throne." And uh, Don Juan was the uh, was the was the king who was in exile. And rather than bring Don Juan back, he brought his son and raised his son so that someday he could be the king of Spain. And when Batista died, he became the king of Spain. And immediately, uh, he, uh, this was a, uh, 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 I'm trying to remember his name now. 
Um, but he, I, can, I know what Phil should say. Tim, uh, will dead. you let me finish? For Christ's sake. Jesus. Sorry. Wasn't me. <laughs> God bless it. I just, you know, I can't tell, it, it, try and get something across here. The, the history of it is, is that uh, it was, it was um, no, I can't even remember his name now, but he, I, he was the king of, new king of Spain. And when he took over, after all this training by Franco, he immediately, his first act as king was to make the country a democracy and say that I'm just, uh, the king, being the king is a titular head. You know, it's, a, it's just a role one plays like in England. And uh, he didn't have to give that up. He could have just become king and, you know, been absolute monarch over Spain. And instead he gave up all of that. And it would have you, you could see Franco turning in his grave, you know, when he did that. Uh, I think uh, it's, was it was it King Philip? No. Second? No. No. Well, I like the Don Juan name. That was a good one. Yeah. Don Juan. Yeah. Yeah. But there was a guy after that. Yeah, but he didn't bring Don Juan thing. back. He brought his son in, and as the ruler of Spain, and I was there when Franco was still alive. It was quite a wasn't Juan Carlos. Juan right? Carlos, that's his name. Yeah. Did you ever meet the man, Franco? No, of course not. Of course huh. not. No. no. That but, must have been during the SNL. But Juan, Juan, Ca Juan Carlos is one of the great men of the 20th century because he could have just sat there and said, I'm king, everybody be obedient to me, blah, 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 blah. Instead, he said, this is a democracy. And what there was all of a sudden in the uh, in the uh, Congress or whatever their, their leading body is over there, there was a literal riot and a takeover with guns and everything of the parliament uh, because they were protesting what Juan Carlos had done because all these people had been loyalists. You know, these had been all people who wanted to bring back the monarchy. What and, do they have now? The same thing? No, they have a complete uh, democracy. I mean, until now when the they won't let the, when they, they won't let now? when they won't let Catalonia exist. You know, which I think they should. You know? uh, it looks like the king of Spain has come out and said that he he oh, supports king. Barcelona's defiance. Yep, yep. Yeah. He's a he's a that's Juan Carlos, right? Uh, I don't know who the current one is. I think uh, he. Is, I think Juan Carlos is still the king. Is the United States being wise and staying out of this, even though it's Trump that's our Trump, president? But is, is, is I don't know. The, I, I don't even. They I, say, oh, I want Catalonia to exist. Or I don't want Catalonia to exist. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it's Trump even. I don't war. think Trump even understands what, what's going on. <laughs> he probably uh, thinks it's Fredonia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> from, yeah. From yeah. Duck hail, Duke. hail, Fredonia. Yeah. 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 But uh, uh, but I, I, the, I mean I hope I, Diaries? I hope Catalonia gets to exist because quite frankly uh, that whole region is just steeped in so much wonderful art and and culture. And its own language, mm -hmm. uh, it's it's really quite wonderful. And I've always been very much in love with Catalonia. And I Alex, love Barcelona. Alex, why do you have such a Spanish connection? You just like Spain. I just like Spain. I mean, I and just Ibiza and all that. Yeah, I I found I found Spain to be just the Spanish people to be a wonderful people, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, do they also have prejudice against them either? Huh? Yes. What? What did you say, Brian? I, as I said to my sister a few years ago, I can't understand why there's so many people who hate on Hispanic people because of, you know. Well, they're not Hispanic. They're, they're, they're not, beautiful. They're not Hispanic. They're European. They're not Hispanic. Spanish. They're Spanish. It's different. Uh, and plus, I, um, what's his name? The the comedian, the, the, the uh, uh, oh, God, my mind's a blank. The, but the, the, the uh, Mexican comedian, uh, uh, Mendoza, Men Men Mencina? No, 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 Mencina's a thief. Uh, who's 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 the other guy? Anyway, he Fluffy said. Gabriel Iglesias. Who 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 did you say? Fluffy. Who? Fluffy. No, not Fluffy. Who else? Gabriel Iglesias. Lopez. No. They said. Mario. Uh, yeah, Lopez. Not Mario Lopez. Yeah, yeah. The, the, yeah. yeah Lopez. He, he used yeah. to come on my show, and I I used to say the word Hispanic, and he said there is no such thing. He said, "Tell me where there's a country named Hispaniola." Or about just uh, Latino. Or he, he said, uh, you're, "He says I'm 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 Mexican." He was very yeah. happy to say that. Anyway, hey, listen, we've run out of time, and uh, I, I we've run out of topics because everybody brings one up every five seconds. Uh, <laughs> we just want to get thank, it out. Thank you very much, Phil. 
You're Appreciate welcome. Appreciate it. Uh, Kevin, thank you for your, uh, your uh, uh, participation in this little disaster. Uh, 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 Mike, thank you. Charlene and Rob. Oh, sorry about the Yankees. Uh, I'll, I'll keep rubbing that in, I guess. Uh, Patrick, yes, thank you. Ahead. Tim, I thank you. And, and Brian, thank you. I think it would be really nice if all of you would wave a big, hearty goodbye to everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Yeah, there they go. They're out of here. And uh, so am I. You know, Rick, uh, uh, Jack, and Amy are next over most of this same station. Uh, I will be back again uh, in a few days. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, also at midnight, at 1 o'clock tonight, we have Connections as well. So that comes on right after uh, Jack and Amy. I will see you on Tuesday. That's the next time we're here. Uh, yes, Tuesday. So mark that down on your calendar. Same time, same station in the life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? <laughs>